With your permission, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to make a statement to the House on the case of Mr. Binyam Mohammed, following the judgment handed down this morning in the Court of Appeal. Mr. Speaker, the Court of Appeal has ruled that, in the light of disclosures by a United States court in December 2009, which I shall describe below, the seven paragraphs which have been redacted from the original judgment of the divisional court in this country of the 21st of August 2008 should be published. The seven paragraphs contain summaries of American intelligence relating to Mr. Mohammed's case held in UK files. I accept the court's ruling, which concludes a very complex and in various ways apparently unique case, and have made the relevant paragraphs available this morning on the Foreign Office website. Mr. Speaker, the judgment is significant not just in respect of the seven paragraphs, but also for important principles which are at the very heart of both our national security and our democracy. At issue in this case was not the content of the seven paragraphs, but the principle of their disclosure by an English court against US wishes. Mr. Speaker, I'm grateful for the consideration the Court of Appeal gave to the control principle. This principle, which states that intelligence belonging to another country should not be released without its agreement, underpins the flow of intelligence between the US and the UK. This unique intelligence sharing relationship is vital to national security in both our countries. Crucially, Mr. Speaker, the court has uphold the, upheld the control principle today. The judgment describes that principle as integral to intelligence sharing. It specifically vindicates the careful assessment that releasing the seven paragraphs without the consent of the United States would have damaged the public interest.